is official. The house that where the four students were murdered in Idaho is now torn down. Check it out. For a year now, this home has been the center of a nationwide investigation after four University of Idaho students were murdered inside. Their accused killer now awaiting trial. The home was demolished yesterday despite requests from some of the victims' families to wait. Now they worry that key evidence may have come down with those walls. In a matter of hours, demolition crews ripped down that house where Kaylee Gonclaves, Zana Kerndodal, Ethan Chapin, and Madison Mogan were all stabbed to death inside. The victims' family members making a last minute plea to spare it until the accused killer, Brian Koberger, faces trial. It's the crime scene. You know, you don't know what's going to need it or when it's going to be needed or if it's going to be needed at all. If it seems strange to you, it's because it is strange. This does not usually happen. Now, the defense also signed off on the University of Idaho's decision to tear it down in order for the community to heal. Although some residents believe the healing can't take place until after Coburger's trial. The date for that trial still hasn't been set. Prosecutors have asked, though, that it's scheduled for sometime this summer.